Hello and welcome back. Yesterday, KW Studios released their On The Edge pack for Race Room, which includes three very nice cars, and the McLaren 570 GT4, the KTM Crossroad GT2, and the Mazda DPI. All pretty sharpish cars. I'm sort of looking forward to having a go at the GT4, the... Um, McLaren at some point. I haven't bought it yet. It's at 675, which seems all right for three cars. I mean, certainly cheaper than I race and for a set of cars, but um, that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about what they did to the ranked racing servers. What have Race Room done to their ranked racing servers that's noteworthy enough to make a video about? Well, I'll tell you, they've split them up. They've split them up into three separate categories. We've got rookies, we've got amateur, and we've got pro. Right, James, but uh, they already had that before, didn't they? Yes, but what they've done is they've changed the way they enforce them. So now, for a rookie server, if you want to go on there, you can't have a reputation of more than 78? If you have a reputation as a driver on the ranked system of more than 70 years, then you're not allowed to join the rookie class and go race with them. Which I find a very interesting decision because, well, Race Room doesn't have the biggest player base, does it? And it's leading to grids that are a little bit short. I mean, look at this, we've got two rookie servers here going, we've got a Mazda and we've got an um, F4, and one's got six in, one's got eight in, and then we've got the AM one, of course you have to have a reputation of 78 to get into an AM one now, so then we've got nine there, so what have we got online at the minute, we've got what, nine, eight, six, five, five, ten, thirty-ish, forty-ish, best players and they're split across one two three four five six seven eight servers to give kw studios the juice it worked all right at peak time last night the first day of a new piece of content coming out which normally brings the player base up a bit anyway it works all right we had an am race and there was what well, it was nine o'clock at night and there was about 18 people in there for one of those f4 am races at uh hockenheim but oh man man they um yeah they soon dwindled off the the uh, the races just sort of did that we had lots at the start and then they went down and then the other thing of course is when i'm streaming i want to be able to interact with the people that are come to watch and uh but the people who've come to watch often want to come and join in now they can't just come and join in the, the good thing about race room is you can jump in you can spend about 10 quid get an introductory pack and then you can come and race on ranked servers with people on youtube quite happily you don't need any rep you don't need anything <sighs> so oh, it's uh, it, it's just it's driving me a little bit mad i'm not sure that this is the way to go for a game with such a small player base because <sighs> now in the middle of the day everybody's split up and the grids are like 10. Ah, it's just... I can see what KW Studios are trying to do. They're trying to make sure that once you've got yourself into a, a decent enough position to be amateur, to be um, competent at driving, not crash all the time, you don't want to have to deal with the rookies every time you go in and race. Put more arm servers on don't restrict people from going into the rookies but then i suppose you've got the same problem where there's not enough player base oh i just yeah um it's 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 a problem that isn't going to fix itself until we get more players in race room hopefully apparently there's meant to be more good content coming out this year with a bit of a road map coming up not too long hopefully that will solve the problem we get more players in but until then i can't i can only see this hurting race room there's just 
not enough. I mean, we can't go racing with 10 people on a grid when you can have 20 odds. Races are just so much more vibrant when you've got so many more people in. I suppose it, it, it comes down to a case of do you want quality racing or do you want quantity of people racing? And ideally you want both. See what they're trying to do. I see what they're trying to do. And I'm just not sure this fix is right for it. I, I'm worried that people are going to come in, see the low numbers and just not join. And then it's going to end up as a spiral of losing players rather than gaining players. But we're just not going to know, are we? We're just not going to know until, well, a week, two weeks down the line. We'll see what happens. But... I'm worried this is a bad move by uh, Race Room. Race Room really does stand on its own two feet as a sim, and it is a shame that it doesn't have as many more players on it. Ah, oh, let me know what you think in the comments. Anyway, that's just my two pence. I had to had to get it out there because it it bugged me last night, and it's bugging me a bit today as well. But uh, yeah, never mind. Let me know, and uh, bye for now.